How to create a local system user account for a tenant. Prerequisites. You have logged in to the system as a tenant administrator. Configuration procedure. Configure user information. Select user groups. Select roles. Select managed objects. Configure an access policy. Function description. A tenant administrator can create multiple sub-tenant administrators and assign different rights to each sub-tenant administrator by role. Application scenarios. A tenant administrator created by an MSP administrator has all permissions on the tenant network and as such is called the root tenant administrator. To ensure system security, the root tenant administrator can create multiple sub-tenant administrators and attach roles to each sub-tenant administrator so that the sub-tenant administrator can have corresponding rights of the roles. Procedure. Step one, choose system, user management, user management from the main menu. Step two, click the users tab, click create and set user parameters on the Create User page. Manually setting a password. Set Password Creation Mode to Manual. Then, you can directly set a password when creating the account. Setting a password via email. Set Password Creation Mode to Email. After the account is created, the system sends a URL to the user's email box. The user can click the URL to set a password. Step 3. Expand Advanced Settings and set Maximum Online Sessions, Account Validity Days, Allowed Logins, Enable the User Policy if no login within a period, and Compulsory Password Renewal. After the configuration is complete, click Next. Step 4. On the Select User Group page, Add the user to a specific user group and click Next. Note, if no user group is available, create a user group as prompted. Step 5. On the Select Roles page, attach user roles to this user and click Next. Step 6. On the Select Managed Object page, select Sites, Local Networks, Admission User Groups, Admission Device Groups, and admission regions to be managed by this tenant administrator and click Next. Step 7. On the Select Access Policies page, click Create in the Client's IP Address Policies area. Configure the range of IP addresses that can use this account to log into iMaster NCE Campus and click OK. If no IP address range is specified, all IP addresses are allowed to use this account to log in to iMaster NCE Campus. Step 8. Click OK. Verifying the configuration. Log in to iMaster NCE Campus using the created tenant account and check whether the account has obtained the specified permissions.